Hey everyone, April Dunham here. Today I want to talk to you about how you can use Power Apps and specifically the launch function in Power Apps to open up another mobile application on your device. I'm going to highlight a few specific applications here, but the beauty of this is that this same method can be used to open up just about any mobile application that you'd like. Before we get started, let's do the intro. Okay, so we're back here. I've created a demo app to test this functionality. Now, if you've used the launch command before, you know that you can simply have a button or an image. So in this case, I have an open website button. And if you go to the on select option, you can just type in launch and pass it in the URL that you want to open. So if we play this app and click the open website button, you'll see that it opens up our ThriveFast website. This works great, but if you're on a mobile device and say you wanted to launch Twitter or Uber, if you did it this way, it'll open up the application in the browser instead of the actual iOS or Android application. So what I'm gonna show you is how to get around that and make it open up the physical application on your device instead. So in my employee directory app, I have several icons here. Let's take a look at the Twitter option first. Now, all I have here is a gallery that has individuals' names their position, and in the gallery, I actually have their Twitter profile name stored as well. So this is just an image, and if I go to the on select property of this particular image, this is how you can open up a particular app. In your launch command, instead of doing the HTTP Twitter, you can use the shortcut of Twitter semicolon slash slash, and what I'm doing here actually, instead of just opening the Twitter app, I want to open up the Twitter app to a specific user's profile. So I can use this shortcut user question mark screen name equals, and I'm passing in the Twitter username of this selected user. So let's jump over to our mobile device and see how this looks. Pretty cool, right? I have a corresponding blog post about this, and in my blog, I reference this other blog here. This is a good resource because the key to this, although it's not hard, you have to know what these shortcuts are to launch these applications. This particular blog article has a bunch of different apps that you might commonly want to use and the shortcut codes that you'll need. So this is a great reference to get started. As we look through the app, you'll see I'm just doing the same thing on all of these different images. So for Teams, to launch Teams, the shortcut for that is MS Teams semicolon uh, whack whack. The mail to, you're probably familiar with if you ever did any kind of HTML and needed to send an email, it's the same shortcut. So mail to and then pass in the email that you want to send an email to and that will open up the native email client of your device. To launch your phone on your device, just use TEL and pass in the name of the phone number that you want to call. And if you want to launch a text message, you can use SMS to launch that application. For YouTube, if you want to open it to a certain channel, just type in YouTube WACC whack the name of the channel that you want to open. Now let's jump over to the office location screens and see a few more examples of this. If you want to launch the Uber app and have it automatically get the current user's location and pass in a location for the destination, this is how you can do that. Just use the Uber colon whack whack and action and then we'll do pickup and you need to pass in the longitude and the latitude of the pickup location. For this, I'm using Power Apps location function to be able to get the current logged in user's location. Then for your drop off location, it also needs the longitude and latitude of where you want to go. So I'm just passing in the longitude and latitude of the location data that I have here in my gallery. When you launch Uber, it will automatically open up to the destination and give you the rate for that. If you prefer to drive yourself to the destination, you can use Waze, which is the app that I prefer to use for driving directions. To launch that, just type in Waze colon whack whack LL equals, and then you'll need the latitude and the longitude of the place that you want to go, and just put navigate equals yes. As you can see, this will open up Waze and automatically queue up your directions. And for the last example here, let's take a look at Yelp. When I'm traveling, I like to use Yelp to find different restaurants and places to visit. So to launch that, all you have to do is type in Yelp for colon whack whack, then you'll do a search 
and this part is configurable. So for category, if you want to find restaurants, just type in restaurants, but this can be whatever you want. It can be hotels, bars, whatever you're wanting to search for. And then just put in the location and you don't have to put in the latitude and longitude for Yelp. It can just be an actual address. So I'm using the address that I have stored in my gallery for that. As you can see, when I click that, it opens up Yelp and automatically finds the address that I passed it and shows me all the restaurants in the area. So this is a really simple concept, but I find a lot of people don't actually know that you can do this in Power Apps. Um, again, the hardest part is just knowing what these prompts are, what you need to type in there. And I think that blog post that I shared earlier will really help with that. Be sure to reference my blog on this for step-by-step -step directions. I'll have the link to that in the notes for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.